Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Perfect from Church Media Pro, and I have my boss here, Mr. Kayano. So, like we promised, we were going to be doing a vlog of our setup for Prayer and Prophetic Conference. Fortunately, we were so busy, but this is the last day of the conference, and we want to keep up to our promise to show you how we set up for Prayer and Prophetic Conference and the gadgets we use. The faces you can see are members of the media team that worked for Prayer and Prophetic Conference. It was an awesome conference. You should go check out and you should go listen, download, listen to the messages from that. We used four cameras for our live stream and there are, there are two Sony A6400 cameras, yes, Lumix GH5, and we used wireless connection and um, wire connections. So for our two, um, for our two static cameras, we use wire, wire connection with HDMI cables and for our two roving cameras, we use wireless connection using the wireless transmitter. So here is our wireless transmitter. There are two. Okay, the video is about how to run the connection. So let me begin with how to run the wireless connection. This is a wireless transmitter. The wireless transmitter is made of a receiver and a transmitter. And um, what we have here is a live pro l1 mixer video mixer the transmitter is what you have here connected to the camera and then you have the receiver connected to the mixer and you connect the receiver to the mixer using a hdmi cable because as you can see it's the output the video output is hdmi for the receiver the video input is hdmi for the transmitter the video output is hdmi so you connect with hdmi cables and then we have here a focus right this always to get audio from the audio mixer and then transmit to the laptop i've given you a theoretical um, briefing of how the setup is done in the last video so uh, this was just to show you the gadgets and i will briefly explain again practically how the setup is done your camera to your mixer as like i've said earlier your wireless connection is to the mixer your wire connection is to the mixer and then from the mixer you can begin to alternate what camera view you want to display at any time yes and then you have your audio connection from here we are using a euphoria from your euphoria to the laptop and then after you've connected your cameras to the mixer you need to um give you need to take audio output from the mixer to your video capture card so here is the video capture card I mentioned earlier. So, oh, I said audio output, sorry, there's video output. So this is the video capture card. So this is the video capture card. Video capture cards of different kinds. We have another type of video capture card. This is a video capture card as well as this. Yes, so we are using this one and we got this one as well. What's the difference? The difference is slightly insignificant. Yes, one you, you would, I would prefer using this because it frees me of the stress of or the risk of having this breaking in in the system or whatever whatever disruption may come from using this this is more flexible yes i think the word is flexible this is more flexible yes so what you do as i was saying earlier is you take your video output from your mixer into your um video capture card and then you have your audio out your video output again from the video capture card into the laptop and then you can bring it into obs or whatever streaming software you are using we have the we have done a video on different um, streaming software and platforms that are used to prepare your live videos so you should check that check out that video uh, for that information very important is the internet you are using for your live streaming why that is important is because you can have a very beautiful connection in your system and then trying to broadcast live you'll be having a lot of um, uh, latency each problem delays if you do not have a, an efficient internet connection so like as you can see here we have um, we actually used four. Yes, this is the fourth one. Yes, we used about um, four. four that is really interesting. We used about four routers. Now, are these necessary? I would say no. But if you work in the environment where we do and you really want to avoid any kind of problem, any kind of issue with your live streaming, you can go for as many of these as possible. But I would also um, recommend for those who are starting small, you may not have the finance for all of this so what you need to do is do a network test at the location you are going to be live streaming to know which network would serve you better at the location and then you can either hire or however you can get the router for that solar live stream you are going to be doing yes so for us here this all came in handy because at some point we discovered that um, one of the networks are going seamlessly and then at some other point is fluctuating so 
is what am I forgetting, sir? Okay, I think the basic things have been covered. Our setup, as he said, we have four cameras that we use, and this has four ports. So this um, video mixer has four ports. You can see the four buttons: one, two, three, four. You can switch between four cameras: one, one, two, three, four. And this is for the output that we send into the video capture card that we also now send into the laptop, and we use it to go live. Okay, and these cables also they connect to two of these cables connect to the two cameras, while the two other cables connect to the two uh, wireless transmitters that we use to stream. And that's for the video setup and the audio setup. As I said, we use a Focusrite sound card that we connect. So these devices, they just I think they work fine. These devices work fine, and um, they are always higher levels. Or uh, uh, if you use more than four cameras, you can choose to go with um, what's the name of that. Okay, we will drop uh, the the name of the device. You can use an eight port video mixer, but we use four cameras for now, so this is okay. This is fine. The, the setup is really simple. We are going to do a diagram of how it, the setup is. We'll do a diagram. As you have seen the gadgets, you can relate more with it. We'll still do a diagram of how each setup linked to you know give us the production that we had. Some other persons may be asking. How do I know what video transmitter to use? How do I know what HDMI cable to use? How do I know um, a lot of questions? We are going to be making detailed videos on um, the best, our preferred choices of transmitters down to camera. So you should subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get updated when we post those videos. Just as I was almost um, forgetting, if you can, as you can see here, um, the laptop you are using for your live stream also plays a very vital role. Yes, because if you use a low processing laptop and you have a very beautiful connection, you are going to have a very poor production. Yes, so you need a high processing laptop. What we have here is HP Omen, 16 gigabyte RAM and up to 2.7 gigahertz processor. Yes, so uh, that also should be taken note of. Yes, yes, yes. And um, coupled with um, going in detail to explain the gadgets we use, we're going to be dropping links to where you can buy these gadgets for yourself. I will be dropping the links in the description of the video so that you can also, um, you know, get it um, for yourself and for your church setup and stuff. So um, this video is one that you can watch with your media team and learn, and you can ask questions in the comment section. I will be there to, you know, um, we'll be there to answer you. And if you want us to coach your media team, uh, we can do that. You can also reach out to our email that will be in the description. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, yes, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, see you in the next video. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.